Today I'm going to teach you how to make this super cute beaded curtain as a gift for your family and friends this holiday season. You only need a few things for this project. You'll need a pair of scissors, a hole puncher. Make sure you get a hole puncher that punches smaller holes in this because it's important for this project. You'll need an assortment of beads. You can get as many as you want and put as many as you want on this project. I have this bunch of colors and I got it from Michaels for like $10. You'll need a wooden stick. It kind of doesn't matter how long it is. It just depends on how big you want to make it. And I got this one at Michaels as well, but you can go in your backyard and you can get a stick out of your backyard and make it a little bit more rustic looking. You will need some construction paper, different colors, whatever colors you choose. And you'll need, what's most important, is your My Image button maker from the Choose Friendship Company. You can purchase it at the link below. This is going to make this so much easier to cut out all of the circles for your beaded curtain. Your first step is to go to a really cool app that the Friendship Factory created. It's called My Photo Sizer, and you can just follow this link below and go to it. You can enter your favorite pictures from your computer or from your phone, and you can enter all of your favorite quote pictures, anything from your family and friends, and then they come out like this when you're going to print them. You'll need the printable size paper, and you can either print them at home or you can print them at a local store like Walgreens or Rite Aid and what I did is I picked some of my favorite quotes and some of my favorite pictures with my family and my friends and it's super easy and this is gonna make the process so much fun so if you give this as a gift you just pick out their favorite pictures so you don't even have to ask them you can kind of go to one of their pages like their Instagram or their Facebook and print some of their favorite photos and their quotes that are on there and it makes a really cute beaded curtain First you're going to put your My Image button maker on your table and get your images out. And then you're just going to slide it under the yellow piece. Get it all lined up on the circle and you have this punchy part right here. You're just going to punch it out so that you have these buttons right here. So you're going to have six of them per page and you'll just keep going until you get them all punched out. So it just depends on how long and how many of these images you want on your beaded curtain. And what I did is I did probably like 10 sheets of these and then I went ahead and I started using construction paper so I could have different colors on there. So now I have a bunch of the images done like this is my favorite one she turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans and I did a bunch of quotes like that and then some pictures with my friends and family I'm going to now cut out a bunch of different colors of construction paper with the same thing so if you have any leftover scrapbooking paper anything just laying around you can use anything you want um, you can even use magazines so you can cut out different images from magazines and old pictures as well so you're just going to start making a bunch of circles and I just kind of cut out the edges of the construction paper because it's easiest that way to make a bunch of them really quick. Now that I have a bunch of circles popped out of my image button maker, I am just going to take my hole puncher and I'm going to punch a hole in the top of the circle, close to the edge like that, and in the bottom of the circle in the same spot across just like this. So you're going to do this a bunch of times to a bunch of circles and it'll take, this is the only part that's gonna take you that long. So I would suggest just um, keeping it going and keeping a steady pace. Now we 
are going to take out some yarn. I chose blue. And you're going to cut 10 pieces or more if you want that are about arm's length long, maybe a little bit longer, like dangling like this. And then you're going to take your beads and choose whatever colors you want. And for the bottom of the beaded curtain, you're just going to string the bead through and tie two knots. And this will just make sure everything stays on there securely. Now you're just going to put probably about 10 beads on the bottom, but you can do whatever pattern you want to do and you can do whatever color, make it your own, make it a great gift for someone and just continue making beads on the yarn. So string them on there. Once you have all of your beads strung onto the bottom, you're going to start putting on your circles with the holes punched in them. So we'll take this blue one. What you're going to do is you're going to stick it, stick the yarn right through this hole in the front. So whatever side you have is the front. And then up through the back, through the top hole. So just like this. You're going to slide it all the way down. And you can either put beads all the way to here. Like you can push it down and put more beads or you can just leave space in between so it's just string. It's up to you whatever you want it to look like. And then I'll show you one with an image. So you are going to String the yarn through the bottom hole in the front of the image. And then up through the back through the top hole so that the image isn't covered with the yarn. And you'll just pull it down and you'll continue the process until you have 10 strings covered with the beads and all of your favorite images. Now that I have all of my strings with the circular cutouts on them laid out, make sure that you lay them out so that they don't get all tangled up. You can get out your wooden stick or the stick from your backyard. Take them one at a time and just tie a knot really tight around your wooden stick with the yarn that's at the top of your string. Try it a few times and that will secure it. If you want to paint your wooden stick, you can to whatever the color theme is for this, or you can just wrap a bunch of yarn around it to make it look really pretty. And then you're just gonna repeat the process until you get the whole thing filled. Mine looks so beautiful behind my couch. You can also put this in your doorway or behind your bed as a headboard. You can make this as a decoration for Christmas. So there's so many ideas for that. But you could do like little snowflake cutouts for all the circles. Like you could do some circles and some snowflakes. You could do snowmen or ornaments. And you can give it to your grandmother, your aunt, or your mom for Christmas. They can put it in their front window so they have little snowflakes coming down as decorations. And again, Gift from the heart is the best gift because you put so much time and love into it and I feel like people really like those sorts of things. You can also make this for a male so you could do a superhero theme or a sports theme for your little brother or your dad. For your little sister you could do her favorite show or favorite movie like Frozen. For your best friend you can do a theme that matches her room color and her room decor. You could also put pictures of you and her on there that are your favorite pictures and there's just so many different options you can do. You can put beads on it and feathers and just go crazy with your imagination and let it run wild because imagination is everything if you can keep that with you your whole life and keep it going and create as much as possible your life will be so beautiful and successful I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.